Good evening, folks. It's uh, Track Tuesday. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a, a video or vlog, whatever you want to call it. Just not been up to it, really. Um, not been too well. So uh, I won't keep going on about what's been going on because it's a bit boring, to be fair. So I'm sure you all don't want don't want to sort of be bored with all that sort of news but uh, just a big thank you though to all the new subscribers why while i haven't been doing any videos i picked up more subscribers so maybe that's what i should do less videos and uh, get more subscribers doesn't make sense does it youtube but uh, thanks anyway uh, all your new uh, followers so it sort of spurred me on a little bit as well to just to do an, an update video this week anyway uh, just to say thank you to uh, anybody new new watching anyway so I hope you're all well. I hope everyone's feeling great and running well and no serious injuries, anybody. Uh, I'm going to keep this little uh, intro to Track Tuesday short because uh, I didn't even check the battery level before I come out and I've just noticed I've only got a little percentage left of uh, battery. So I'll just give you, I'll tell you now what I'll be doing. I'm doing, tonight it's nine times 800, but I, I think it's going to be a bit too much for me tonight because I didn't do too much last week but we'll see how it goes I'll take it nice and easy build into the session and just see how I feel if I can do it I'm not going to go mega quick so maybe I can just uh, pound out the moles and use that to build on for the rest of the week so I'll catch you all after the session and uh, I'll give you a quick update and let you know how it all went oh, can't believe I actually got the session done I'm really really pleased how that went and all pretty consistent. I think my slowest one was about uh, 3, 320, I would say. No, oh, sorry, 325, 326. Quickest was about 310. And then they averaged around about three sort of 14s. Uh, I think there was a 312 penultimate one and about 310 again for the, the for the last one. So I'm really, really pleased how that went. And then a little uh, Brucey bonus at the end. We done... Uh, two times 200 with uh, 200 recovery as per usual in between and uh, I think I managed to 40 seconds 200 which is pretty good the only thing is I'm paying the price a little bit because of the me uh, that trap nerve is sort of uh, come back a little bit but uh, I just managed to do the recovery uh, morning off so my battery ran out uh, yesterday so I'm just sort of uh, updating you on what's going on so I'm just at Epson Epson job so I'm taking this little opportunity to uh, go for a run, but I have to be a little bit discreet. Uh, this is my little uh, my little changing room. Looks nice, doesn't it? So oh, well, done. <laughs> a bit scruffy, but it's discreet. I can quickly get changed in here. No one would be none of the wiser. And there's a little gate at the back there. It's not that I'm not allowed to go for a run, but there's a lot of uh, elderly sort of uh, residents along here, and uh, they do like to um, make comments and say things. But I'm entitled to a break, and I'm using my break time to go for a quick run. So I'll uh, I'll um, get myself changed and get going. Right, this is the secret gate I was telling you about. Well, it's not a secret, but. Post it's clear. Start with the watch. So a nice easy recovery run this morning. Alright, so made it up to the uh, race course as you can see. Grandstand over there. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna run inside the track. Although it doesn't go around a complete circle, I'm gonna follow this trail round, car behind me and then uh, I think this is a route to, there's some uh, stables over there as well because obviously the horses actually uh, some of them live here as well I presume so I'm just going to take a little uh, take that off it's quite I know it's uh, quite uh, drizzly and a little bit chilly it's uh, once you get going the heat builds up it does feel quite mild Me distance there. <laughs> Don't want to get kicked by one of them. Tuesday night, last night's track. Nine times, 800. As I was saying, when my battery went, went surprisingly very well. Considering what a horrendous week I'd 
the week before doesn't seem to have done me too much harm uh, yeah I was, I was pleased I think they averaged started off very cautiously uh, 325 or something like that or 320 no, 320 the first one then I had a slow a slower one uh, 328 I think and that was about the slowest I've got the rest of them all around about uh, 314 I seem to remember which what I was really pleased about was the last one which wasn't a struggle either uh, 311 I think it was I think my fastest was 310 uh, it might have been the one before the penultimate one so I was over the moon obviously it was like I wasn't expecting that and on top of that I even managed to do the 200s which is really unusual for me just checking out this extra little bit this morning just apologies if the wind's on the camera I forgot to put the uh, wind wind muff on I wasn't expecting it actually to be that windy this morning so I just had to got stopped by a uh, steward because the horses were doing a workout on the gallop so I suppose it's the equivalent of us doing a, doing a session <laughs> it made me laugh actually it tickled me uh, see little things like that make me laugh just lately but uh, I just so I was just checking out this extra little loop I've just asked him and he said yeah just carry on down you can do a right he sort of said well it depends how far you want to go but you try to turn that to someone that doesn't run they probably think a mile is like a is a long way and uh, it's amazing when you speak to non-runners they go to me are oh, you doing what marathon are you doing this year I say to them oh, London or Brighton they go well, how far is that one I go what do you mean they go how many miles I say well marathon's a marathon <laughs> it's quite a classic conversation you get sometimes I don't know if anybody else has uh, experienced that so I know that's a path down that way I think I'll take the second one. I've got a bit of spare time this morning. A nice little uh, loop around the woods, but unfortunately it's very muddy here. But you can get you can get past. I'll just come from down there. So now heading up here, back up to the race course. Just had to stop for another cut of horses. Very polite, politely asked not to walk or run. So I just stood still. You really don't want to mess about with them horses. They're proper race horses very powerful so you don't want to you don't want to be getting into a disagreement with one of them creatures <laughs> beautiful things they are but very powerful so, as you can see yeah this is the gallop here where the horses do their workout it's quite a soft soft sand quite interesting so horses i've been it's quite firm it's quite a firm feel but yeah int interesting that i'm gonna run I'm going to run along the back of this tree line here and then start heading back now. So the gallop continues still along here. And imagine living in one of them houses. What a view. So I'm just running up this path here and it's absolutely fantastic. And I'm thinking to myself, the first week in the new year, I've got to work here on a Thursday <coughs> just to tie in with the uh, deliveries, etc., bin collections, all that sort of thing. And I'm thinking, Oh, we're going to have more spare time on that day. There won't be much going on work-wise, but I've just got to be there. But I'm thinking, this could be great for a session on here. I think I might have found where I'm going to be doing my session the first week, the first week in the new year. It's, uh, it's, it's got sand, so it's a little bit of give, but it's quite firm. So I'm just uh, going to run back down now into Epsom, it's all downhill. So, so far I've enjoyed this one this morning, though it's a miserable drizzly morning. It's uh, nice to be able to take your time and not be, not be rushed with work and that, but as I'm saying, it's, uh, it's getting quieter now in the winter months, so hopefully I'll have a bit more time for some more training, hopefully. I'll catch you all the weekend, hopefully. Schoolboy here, by the way, over there. I forgot to pause the uh, unpause the watch, so I might have missed out on I don't think it was much, but uh, I paused it so I could stop and uh, talk to you guys. But uh, sometimes you forget to restart the watch. 
But anyway, I'm gonna run back down hill now into Epsom, uh, get changed quickly and get on some work. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.